In 1950, Mikoyan Gurevich began work on a fighter that would have a greater range than the MiG-15 and the MiG-17. The intention was to make it capable of reaching supersonic speed and level flight. A prototype MiG-17 was converted to use two AM-5 engines. The converted MiG-17, designated SM-1, made its first flight in late 1951. The SM-1 was intended as a test bed, and was followed up by the SM-2, which was intended as a supersonic escort fighter. It had thin swept back wings, with a single wing fence on each side, and was fitted with a T-tail. The SM-2 was armed with two Noodleman N37 37mm cannons, located in the wings, near the wing roots. The SM-2 made its first flight May 24, 1952. Testing showed that the SM-2 could not exceed the speed of sound and level flight, resulting in the replacement of the engines. Although this improved performance, the aircraft suffered from handling problems. To solve this, the horizontal tail was lowered, among other things. An even stronger engine was needed to fix all thrust issues, and the new AM-9B was developed. When the new engines were fitted, the SM-2 was redesignated the SM-9. The SM-9 was ordered into production as the MiG-19 on February 17, 1954, even though testing had barely begun. Because of this, initial production aircraft suffered from serious problems. Poor insulation between the aircraft's engines and fuel tanks led to in-flight explosions. This was eventually solved by introducing a metal heat shield. The elevators were also redesigned and introduced in the later MiG-19S version. A radar-equipped all-weather fighter was also developed, and entered production as the MiG-19P in 1955. From 1957, the production of all-weather fighters switched to the MiG-19PM, which was equipped with K-5M air-to-air -air missiles instead of cannons. A high-altitude version, the MiG-19SV was put into limited production. This version was intended to be able to intercept the Lockheed U-2, but it proved inadequate for the task. The MiG-19 was used by the Soviet Air Forces, and served in Vietnam's People's Air Forces during the Vietnam War, starting in 1968. In total it served in 17 countries. A total of 2,172 MiG-19s were produced, before production stopped in 1968.